In this video, I'm going to show you a few tricks and tips that I've learned over the years of developing and building Squarespace websites on how to manage your pages and your content. This is probably something that if you have less than five pages on your website, you don't really need to worry about. But there are some options that make life really easy, but are not necessarily clear when you begin. So let's go in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on pages. This is where we're going to spend all of our time. You'll see here in 7.1, you have main navigation and then not linked. Not linked has been so confusing for so many of my clients as I send them the website. Basically, all that means is it is not linked in the main navigation. The page still can work. The page still can be accessed, all of that, but it's not in the main navigation. Tip number one, let's talk about folders. So I'm gonna click this plus sign right here, gives you all these options. I'm gonna click on folder. So once I click on that, I'm gonna name it. And in this case, I'm gonna call it company. From there, I just refresh the page and you'll see company shows up. There's nothing in the folder yet, but it is there. So the first thing I could do is, let's say I wanna add a few pages. Well, I could go down here to the not link section, add this portfolio and drag it up into the folder. Or there's another way to do this. I'm gonna drag this back down to the not link section because for example, you may want to put that portfolio in a few places. So what I typically do with a navigation by the time I'm done with a website is this. I'll click add page, which technically isn't a page, but I'm gonna add a link. And then here I'm gonna type in portfolio. And then here, all I need to do is press forward slash. It's gonna show me all the options. I'll start typing in portfolio and then click on that. And now I have just added it. So if I go to company, you'll see it has a menu now. If I click on portfolio, it'll take me to the portfolio. As you can see here, this is gray now. So it's, it's linked it there. This is really useful because there's a lot of things that you can do and add here. Now, let's say if I go into this portfolio in project one, let's say I want to link project one in the main navigation. Well, there's no clear way to do that here. So I would go back to the same process I just did. And this is tip number two, use links as much as possible. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of the editor, just click this little arrow. The reason is it shows me what the URL is here. So I'm gonna highlight everything from here on out. So everything after the .com, I'm gonna highlight all of that and copy it. Now I'm gonna go back into the editor. I just press the escape button on my keyboard or you could press the arrow to go back. Then I'm gonna click add page, which is really a link. And then from there, I'm gonna type in Apple project. And then I'm gonna paste this here. So now I've added that specific project in. So if I click save, you'll see I'm already on the page now. Let me go back. This is the home page. So when I go into here and I click on the Apple project, it takes me directly to it. It's a beautiful project, huh? Okay, so from there, now you can start to create whatever you want. So let's say you do e-commerce. Well, if you have a store and let's say your store has five categories, well, you could list those categories here by doing the process that I just walked through. So you would go into your store. Let me pull mine up. And then we have a few categories built in. So I'm just going to click jewelry. And then this is the jewelry store page. Okay, so I'm going to click escape to get into the main menu here and you'll see shop jewelry. So then I can copy that and then go back and go back to the main navigation and then click add page, add link, and then this could be just like that. And this is why your URL structure from the beginning is really important. You definitely don't want this to be like something weird like this. You wanna make sure it's actually relevant to the content so you don't have to change it because if you change it later, it may break some links that you've created. It's really important to make sure your links are structured the right way. I have other videos that walk through how to change your page URLs or your product URLs or your category URLs. But in this case, let's focus in on other options for pages in the main navigation. So I'm gonna click save. Now, just like that, I've added all these items without necessarily dragging items around. Again, you can do that but in this case, it gives you a lot more flexibility on what you could link in your main navigation. Another thing is sometimes you may end up with a lot of pages. So this is the next tip. For this tip, what I wanna talk about is this. I'm gonna click on this plus sign in the not link section and I'm gonna create a folder. 
for this folder, I'm going to call it active pages. And then I'm going to create another folder that is inactive pages. The reason this is important is it helps you keep things organized. As you can see here, I have some inactive pages that I'm just going to drag into this folder. It helps me keep things organized and clear. This is our old home page, whatever it might be. You can just throw any old stuff in there. If you're not using it, definitely disable it so it is not showing up in Google. You could see here this is turned off. Just by clicking the settings wheel, you could come in here and disable this page by just checking this off and you'll be good to go. But those are inactive pages, but the active pages I'll drag in here so then I know where they are and they're easy to find. And you could do this for any of your items, right? So you could do this if you have a lot of pages that are, say, part of a portfolio or part of something else. Well, it makes the structuring really easy and it also makes it really easy for you to keep things organized. The next level of this can be where you click the plus sign and create another folder that could be specific for miscellaneous pages. What that can be is like a thank you page or a privacy page, privacy policy, or any of those types of pages. So then you could have your main content in active pages, miscellaneous pages, and then inactive pages. Now, by throwing it into a folder in the not link section, it does not change anything on your website. So the fact that the home page is now in an active pages folder doesn't mean anything to the end user, to SEO, any of that. It does not affect anything else except your experience. So this makes your experience a lot better, clearer and easier, especially if you have a lot of content. The next tip is this. If you are working on a live website and you want to add something to the main navigation. So let's say you're going to add a page here that says about us. Well, you may not want to work on it while the site is active or live. So instead of adding it to the main navigation, what you can do is you could create it in the not link section. So I'll click the plus sign here and then I will click. Let's just start with a page layout and I'm just going to start with this and then come in here and call it about us. There we go. Then I could come in here, make adjustments to the page however I want make edits, get it to the exact look and feel that I want. So from there, I'll be able to drag it up into the main navigation at any time when I'm ready and I could drop it in this folder here. And let's say I had an old about page, for example, I could just take that and drag it out and go from there. So let's say it's an inactive page. Now I open up this folder, I drop it in here and then set it to inactive. So that is a great way to create a new page or replace your current page or whatever that might be that you're working on, you could do things in the background in the not link section. And then when you're ready, take it to the main navigation so that it goes live. Two other things that you could do within your main navigation that sometimes gets overlooked. The first thing is this, for your main navigation, you could come in here, click the plus sign, or you could go to any of these folders. And let's say for the second folder here, I'm gonna click add page, and then I'm gonna add a link. Well, this link I want to create for either a phone for either a phone call or for an email. So if someone clicks on it, it'll either trigger their phone to make a call or their desktop to make a call, or it'll trigger their email to open up. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna start with call us. And this is the same exact process for email. So you can just write email us or email now or whatever that is. And then in this link section, if you click on the settings wheel, here's all the magic. So you can set up an email here, you could set up a phone, so you could set up an email here, you can set it up to make a phone call, whatever that is, just click on it. All you have to do is add the email here. So for example, if I use this email, that's great. You don't need to do all this other stuff. You don't need to do the subject, the body, CC, BCC, any of that. All you need is the email, and then you could go from there. For a phone, very similar process. So all you need to do here is add a phone number. So I'm going to do this. There we go. It's added in the phone number. And then if I hit save, you'll see here it says tell colon and then the actual number. That is a link for a phone call. So you could do that with email. You could do that with a phone number, all of that to get set up. And once you're done, you hit save and you'll see here the page will refresh. And if I go to second folder and hit call us, you'll see that it will trigger my computer. And if someone's on their phone, it'll trigger, hey, do you want to make this phone call now? And the final tip here is make sure if there are any pages that you are not using 
that are dead pages or that are demo pages to delete them. This is my demo website, so in some ways it doesn't matter, but if you are getting your site live and preparing to launch it, delete any demo content by clicking on the little trash can here, or if you hover over it, you could click the settings wheel, and then as soon as you do that, you could go in here and hit delete page. And then just like that, you've deleted it. So overall, as you can see, this menu is now beautiful, clean, and organized. I love clean and organized. So you could see everything here with a quick overview and have a really good grasp of where your site is, where things are at, without too much complication. I think my biggest tip would probably be around the not link section of keeping things organized because every time you have to log in and edit a page and make an adjustment and go into design and go back and forth, it gets really confusing and that takes a lot of time. If you have this organized well, you could just keep one folder open, go back and forth really easily so you could go and design, hit custom CSS, make some edits, then go back to pages and as you could see, it's still here. You don't have to scroll for five minutes to try to find the page or do a command F and search the page for that specific page. It's just a really easy process to manage your navigation. Hope that helps. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.